it's following the paper trail with Laura again and earlier today I showed you um, about a mini album that I am making that uses six by nine kind of the uh, goldenrod office envelopes and then flips and has um, some little change um, envelopes um, that attach to it I called it the Z fold mini album well I have a kit um, for you that uses those envelopes. It's different than the one that I was showing you, the vintage one that I was showing you. This one is using um, the K and Company paper um, that's called Nature, I believe. It's a Susan Winget paper. Um, it's got all sorts of butterflies and dragonflies and real spring-like colors. And you know me and butterflies and dragonflies. I just about peed my pants in Doans when I found it. So anyway, so I have a kit that I've got put together using them. All of the papers, because these envelope menus tend to be a pretty paper intensive, what I have done is um, I give you 6 by 12 papers in them. And these are all double-sided. I love this aqua one. It's got butterflies and dragonflies that are glittered. Then on the back side, it's kind of a golden color. As I said, these are all double-sided. This one has a kind of shimmer to it. And then on the back side, it's some leaves, some dragonflies, and some leaves. This one has a shimmer to it as well. And it's got, this one has a robin on it. The um, corresponding piece, the other half of this sheet has something else on it. So you're either going to get the bird or I think it's a butterfly at the other end. And this is kind of a cranberry. Some butterflies. Kind of hand-drawn lines. I figured this one would be really good for doing, doing some of the journaling spots. Kind of a chocolate. And some blue. This one has flowers. The corresponding other corner has um, a wonderful, I think, dragonfly on it. Um, and I was really tried hard to make it very equitable as to what you were getting. Either side of the paper is gorgeous. This is a cool green and blue stripe with a nifty green on the back side. This one's a real soft colored one. And a gold. This one has a dragonfly or it has a group of lilies. And a pale kind of grayish blue. It's got these really gorgeous salmony colors in here as well. Love this one. This one's really pretty as well. It's a blue. And then I gave you this kind of charcoaly brown to use to make your um, binding strips that you can either use to bind it all in punch holes or you can use rings and punch holes. If on the kit you want to use a bind it all and you don't have access to one, if you would like, I can go ahead and cut these into the two inch strips and punch the bind it all um, holes in it. I'm not going to go ahead and punch this in there, but I can punch the bind it all holes um, and give you a, a section of the binding rings. Um, um, and that's something I can do if that's something that you need. I might end up having to charge you a little bit more for um, postage because I'll have to put it in a box instead of a padded envelope because I don't want your binding ring things to get mashed. Um, if you don't have a bind it all and you do want those rings or the, the bind it all stuff, you can, and I've done this many times, um, you can squeeze these together with your fingers. You don't have to have the bind it all if you do it real carefully. I know somebody left a comment. It's like, you don't have your paper on here. How are you going to do it when it's hooked in? I just pull these apart and take the whole thing apart. It, you know, it, you can do that three or four times before the wire starts to weaken. I wouldn't do it many more times than doing that, but um, you can pull them apart enough to get like the cover off for me to cover my cover. So anyway, so there's those six by six card stocks. I have kind of a tomato, a pumpkin, a kind of butter, a soft green, a sagey green, and an aqua. So those are the papers. In terms of the laces, fibers, and stuff, um, I have some these brown lace, leaf, leaf, lace leaves. I use these in a different kit as well, and I just love them so much, and it just really went well with this one. So you get five of those that are hooked together. You can cut them apart or leave them as one piece. Some of these wonderful flat pearls that I'm totally in love with. Another piece of lace. Then the ribbons and fibers. I don't have as many fibers. I have some fibers in this one, but not as many. Um, but I have lots of ribbons. This is just a yummy green ribbon. Here's a organza in cream, um, yellow, 
Here's a velvet aqua with some stitching on it from a pink satin, a skinnier salmon satin, um, some aqua rickrack, and then here's some braid that's in with some like yellow flowers. And then some fibers, I've got a golden color, a aqua color, and kind of that salmony pink color. So there's all your ribbons and fibers. Then on the flowers, you get a large Heidi Swap aqua one. Then you get a, just a whole ton of some Prima ones that are colored in those soft spring-like colors. You could glimmer mist them, all sorts of things if you wanted to. Here's one that has some words on it. So those are all the flowers, as well as, and you're gonna get some little baby flowers couple of just flat um, kind of minty green and then a handful of these little golden ones with green center so bunches of flowers because it has a real garden flavor to it you're also going to get part of the collection has these three-dimensional stickers that has acetate on them so you're going to get quite a grouping of these you're probably going to get at least six some of them have a little few more because if you got a bigger butterfly um you didn't necessarily get a smaller one. So I tried to make them as equitable as possible. So you're gonna get a group of some of the garden things and a couple of the butterflies. Then in terms of all the other goodies, you're gonna get get a couple, couple oh, I can't talk this evening, a couple of Adage stickers that say Wish and Hope. You're gonna get some of these epoxy, three of the large epoxy, sparkly epoxy stickers that have, you're gonna get a bird and at least one flower and a butterfly or a couple of flowers, but everybody at least got a bird. Um, then you're gonna get a little one as well, and I'm thinking of attaching mine to the top of one of these colored paper clips. Then you're also gonna get a swirly paper clip, some Tim Holtz little tiny safety pins and a larger one with the um, um, word on it. Um, you're also gonna get some of these cool brass, I know some of others have put these into kits, these cool um, brass, um, leaves, flowers, and a butterfly charms. You're going to get a butter, two butterflies and a dragonfly. I should put some dark paper behind this so you can see what's on here. There we go. That's probably better to see. Try not to get glare. Um, some bling and green, orangey gold, aqua and pink. Then a whole bunch, ton of brads just because I use that on these pages in the center of this um, if you've watched the video, uh, to create the two pockets there. So um, that's all the goodies there. You're also going to get a package of this Recollections bling. And then you're going to get four. Actually, I might end up putting six. I think I'll put six in here. So you're only seeing four, but I'll put six of the tags. And then you're going to get an acetate. Again, this isn't showing up very well. An acetate. And these vary from the kits. You're going to get two of these journaling postcards that I found. And then you're going to get five of the 6x9 envelopes and five of the um, change envelopes. And then you're also going to get, and I don't have them here, two pieces of the 6x8 um, chipboard, heavy duty chipboard. And I, I still need to cut those, but they're 6x8. So this is a little bit larger mini. And I made the, them longer because you might have some stuff sticking out um, this way. So anyway, if you're interested in this kit, I don't have very many of them. I only have seven of them going up. Um, so they will be on my Etsy store. By the t And I always put it up on my Etsy before it go the YouTube gets uploaded. So um, you can go to my uh, Etsy store at following the paper trail, um, dot Etsy, no, follow the paper trail dot Etsy dot com. And I'm going to be doing some other of the um, other kits using these envelopes as well. But this is just a really fun, pretty spring-like one. Uh, one comment that came up uh, earlier today regarding these envelopes. I'm almost positive they are not acid-free. But um, in response to that, I always have either the digital originals of my photos or if they're vintage photos, I always have a digital copy of them. I always scan them and use the copies in my minis. Your fingers have a whole lot more acid actually than the paper does. Light is also, and to be perfectly honest, using the minis the way that I like to have my minis used, people looking at them, my kids looking at them, 
Um, that's going to do a whole lot more damage to my photos um, over the f lifetime of the mini than any acidity that's in the paper. So unless, you know, you're looking for, to archive. But I never put original photographs in my minis because they are handled. They're not in-page protectors. So just a thought to think about. Um, so some of these products that are not acid-free, I don't worry too much about. But anyway, check it out at my Etsy, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much.